tuning in. This is another uh, Optobotomus's mailbag, but we're doing this live today. Uh, I don't know if anybody's going to be watching me for this. Um, I think it'd be cool if people are actually watching it. I'm going to try and go to the comment section here. If it actually works, uh, keep the, the audio keeps going. Uh, so I'm hoping that I can get the comment section to work properly this time. Hola. What's up? Uh, blah, blah. We're going to do, like I said, a live live thing here. Uh, live Optobotomist's mailbag. Let's see. I'm watching. All right. Al, Al, I'm going to call you Altab. So here we go. This one, uh, this first one looks for, like it comes from Alberta, Canada. Uh, and I think the name is Max. It's from Canada. So really very cool. Now, you guys know I like doing this. That's the address. Hopefully you can see it. Optobotomist at P.O. Box 3256, Huntington Beach, California, 92605-3256. That's the address, if anybody is interested. In What's up? What's up, Tyler, man? Uh, Brian? Brian? Super, super, mad, madula, super, super, blah, 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 super, blah, 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 blah. I can't say your name. I can't say it. Yo, 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 what's up? Mario Productions, I got a package actually from you, Mario Productions. We're going to get to that here in a little bit, but we're going to start things off with this first letter that I have. Uh, like I said, I think it's from Max. Let's see what we have here. Uh, I should I should save that. Whoa, Max sent me a bunch of stuff here. Whole bunch of stuff. Let's see, he's got some drawings in here and he, a nice typed up letter. I do I do like it when people type things up because some people have really bad handwriting. But let's see, Decepticon Pathfinder masterpiece, a B2 spirit. So he drew. Oh wow. He drew me. Oh, okay, cool. He drew me a picture. Hopefully, you guys can see that. It's kind of hard to see because I know my camera sucks. But there's that. I, I'm not looking at the the comments really right now, so uh, I apologize, guys. Um, hello. Yes, yes, you did. Yes, I did. It's, uh, I, I'm I'm randomly gonna go back. Uh, and look at look at the comments for, from you guys. But uh, for right now, we got we got Pathfinder, and it says came to Earth years ago. He hates the Autobots. More than that, he hates Starscream. Ooh, interesting. Uh, they are always at war with with each other. Uh, they compete over who is the can't make out that word, uh, but strongest, and smartest, and who. Who, who should be the leader when Megatron goes offline? Pathfinder is a good friend to Mindwipe. Oh, okay. Very good. Uh, when they are together, they are an unbeatable partnership, something Starscream can't beat. He's got a rank of 9, intelligence of 10, strength of 8, speed of 10, courage of 7, endurance of 7, and skill of 10. So that's Pathfinder. And he is, wow, he's 43 feet tall. It's really cool. I really like that. Very nice. Absolutely love that drawing. Then we got something else here. Another character that Max created. I think it's Max. Oh, well, yeah, Max. Um, Maximus Prime is the name he goes by. Uh, we have Autobot Masterpiece Maximus Prime. Um, he's a super sport car. That's actually kind of cool looking. That's also, That's really nice. You can see the the car mode right there, and is a uh, robot mode obviously. And we have shortly before Cybertron uh, fell, an unlikely hero arose. He destroyed a Decepticon platoon within minutes because he was underestimated. Uh, afterwards, he became known as Maximus Prime. Maximus Prime describes himself as an agile and fast-paced individual who, when he came to Earth, chose the greatest. 
I can't make out that word vehicle. Uh, the Bugatoni Viron Sport Super Sport. Again, I, I don't know anything about cars. Uh, let's see. Now he brings terror to the Decepticons as he reminds them of what happened on Cybertron. Very, very cool. Awesome drawings here. You guys impress me so much with, with the drawings that you do. It's it's unbelievable how impressive you guys are. Uh, let me actually... I, I should actually... Uh, does, it does kind of look like Knockout. Uh, Halo fan, since yesterday I can do it. What's up, Rated R Transformer? Um... I'm going to let me see here. I want I gotta I want to post this so every, other people can come here and see this. Yeah, I want I gotta I let, me, let me let me see. see oh, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, echo, 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 echo. All right, good. Um, Jarno Station, g give me a little bit. I'll go through and I'll do some questions, but I'm going through it, doing my mail, mail right now. Come watch me live and. Open fan mail. I'm gonna post this. I want to post this on my Twitter and Facebook page so that you guys can actually see this, or so that they can see it. Um, hope and hopefully, hopefully it actually works. All right, hold on a second, guys. Hold on. Bear with me. I'm sending out messages here. And uh, let's see. Yeah, sorry about the echo. This is this is live. This is live. Muza Hookah. What's up, Muza Hookah? How do I live stream? I don't know. All right, so um, so we're gonna I'm gonna read the letter now that Max sent. Hey, Optimus. First of all, I'd like to say you're one of the coolest people on the internet ever. Ever? Ever? It's a long time. Uh, I've been watching your videos since the review of the Deluxe Class Revenge of the Fallen Sideswipe, and since then I have been a lively watcher to your video reviews and other things you've done over the years. Thank you very much, Max. That's you know, um, uh, my my deluxe class Revenge of the Fallen Sideswipe is still my most popular video. Uh, it has the most views of anything that I've ever done, so that's awesome. I'm glad that you found me through that. Uh, with these two drawings I've sent you, they are my personal favorites among my small collection. Oh wow! Thank you, thank you very much. Um, let's see. I've been doing these designs for fun since I was 13 years old, and these two are some of the more recent work. Okay, very cool. The ones you see are Decepticon Pathfinder and Autobot Maximus Prime. Every drawing I've made in my head can transform. I can I can imagine how each gets to robot mode. That is awesome. I always wanted to send my designs in the Hasbro so they could see, but apparently legal issues get in the way. I believe that. I'm sending my two favorites uh, to you to see if you are interested in them. If you are, please let me know. I think they look fantastic. Uh, anyway, I'd like to thank you, Autobots, for keeping me entertained over these years. And by the way, I, will, I would like to apologize for my messy handwriting. From your fan sub subscriber and supporter, Max, a.k.a. Maximus Prime. Very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, you definitely have talent. You know, I don't, I don't see why you can't. I mean, send them into Hasbro. I'm sure, P I mean, I don't know their address, but I'm sure Hasbro would love to get this stuff. I'm sure they would love seeing it. So Max, thank you very much. Very, I, I, I'm amazed. I'm, I'm honored and very, very thrilled when you guys send this stuff to me. It, it shows so much love. I guess I'm going to say love. Uh, uh, let's see. Paul, do you have? Uh, yeah, I, Tyler, man, I do have. I have a Universal uh, pass for Universal C or ugh, Universal Studios. Yeah, you can go live via Google Hangout, um, and then it posts to YouTube. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Well, the next one we have is from Lewis um, from Florida. All right, cool. Very cool. He sent me stickers. I, I think these are stickers. I, I'm, I'm guessing they're stickers. Let me see if they actually come off. Yeah, they're stickers. Oh, wait. 
he can't see what I'm doing. I have to be able to look at the camera. So he sent me some stickers, which is very nice. What do we have here? <laughs> you are the chosen one, Optibotomus. Oh, jeez, okay. So we have that. You guys are really talented with your art. I'm amazed by some of it. Hey, Optibotomus, I'm 10 years old. He's 10 years old, and he drew that. Is that too much light? I don't. I hope that's not too much light. Ten years old and you do that. Really good. I've watched all of your, your yeah, yeah, yeah. I've watched all of your videos from Ghostbusters to Spider Man. I love your videos and I hope you, you post more. I'm gonna keep going. You guys keep watching, I'll still do them. Uh, the drawing uh, is for you on the front of the paper. I want to be an artist as you can see on the drawing. I have a collection of action figures and I have some Star Wars. I have the Ghostbusters Peter Bankman and F fifteen Transformers, which are my favorite. PS uh, the lion roar is in capital letters. Oh. Okay. Ten years old, though, guys. Ten years old and did that. That's impressive. So very impressive. Thank you, Lewis. That's cool. I, I don't know. If, I mean, I know some of you guys are here um, with the comments and stuff that are watching, and it's amazing that you need to poop. Okay. Uh, yeah, Raider, we're, gonna, we're still going to have a regular Ustream. I just thought that this would be a good way to do my weekly um, mail thing and uh, incorporate the live feature that I have. I'm making a letter now. Oh, cool. Uh, skids and Mudflap car. What's up? Stickers rock. Stickers are awesome. Sentai fan, I haven't seen it. We're, we're going, my wife and I were going on Monday to go see it. Really excited about seeing it. Like, you know what, I've, I have I have a bunch of Lego things, like the Lord of the Ring Lego things. I have a bunch of those, but I don't know, I, I don't know how I would review them, honestly. It's kind of one of those things where I'm not used to doing that kind of thing, so I'm not sure how I would go about actually doing it. So, uh... Hey Paul, are you getting masterpiece figures from Hasbro? I, I will, yeah. Made Meta Meta KJ09. Um, was that was that letter from you? Was that from you, Lewis? Was that you? Was are you Lewis? But uh, let's go to the next one. We got one from Casey from Lapeer, Michigan. That is awesome because I'm from uh, I'm from around that area, around the Detroit area of Michigan. And again, if you guys want to send me anything, there's the address. You can send me anything that you want to that P.O. box. Let's get this open from Casey here. All right. I, I really need to get a, uh, uh, I want to get like a big kind of world map and put pins. Every time I get something, I want to put pins from places. Oh, my gosh. Casey, this is awesome. Absolutely. Check this out. How cool is that? How cool is that? That is awesome. Isn't that great looking, guys? That is so cool. That is so, so cool. P.S. If you like this logo and want the file, I can... Yeah, please. I can, I can use this I can use this on my uh, Ninja Turtle reviews that I have coming up. So very awesome. Please send that to me. My, use my uh, optobotomist at gmail.com, Casey. Dear Optobotomist, I've been watching reviews for some time now, and I love all the, all the videos you have done. I look forward to any of your reviews you do, and many of them have helped me decide to buy or not to buy. I just wanted to send you this letter to personally thank you for all the great work you, yeah, all the great work, and for all the time you have taken out of your life just to post the reviews for all of us. I also wanted to give you this logo I made for you. I know you love Ninja Turtles so much. I thought you might like, might like it, and I hope you do. Uh, I absolutely love it. Thank you very much, Casey. That is very, very awesome. Um, it doesn't look like it's drawn. It looks like he, he did it on a computer. But please send me the file, Casey, because 
And I hope that's a he, because Casey could also be a female name. But that is really awesome. Uh, I have not seen Tron Uprising. But yeah, that is really cool. That could be, I, I'm going to put that on. I'm, if, if you send that to me, Casey, uh, hopefully you send it to me fairly soon because I got a whole bunch of other Ninja Turtle videos that are coming up. That would look awesome on there. And let's see. Super Optimus. Uh, I'm pro I probably I have no intentions really of going to TFCon. Uh, this is from James from uh, Dixon, Tennessee. Let's see what James has to say. I mean, I, I'm I'm keeping up with some of the the comments. I'm actually proud of myself. I'm keeping up with the comments here, and uh, and able able to read letters at the same time. I'm very impressed. All right, James, what do we have? James, your 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 paper is all falling apart. <laughs> Dear Optimus, my my name is James. I'm 22 years old and a longtime fan of your channel. Congrats on taking the vows with Mrs. Optimus. Thank you. It it it's now been over a year that we've been married. Uh, anyway, I used I used to be Lord Bear 90 until Google took over YouTube, so now I can't comment on your videos anymore. Oh, that sucks. Please excuse my terrible handwriting. As I don't write very often, I don't have a lot to say, except I love your Transformer reviews, and I look forward to seeing more of them. Also, I was wondering, what is the song at the beginning of most of your video reviews? I'm a guitar player song, or I'm a guitar player slash songwriter, so if you could get back to me, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, actually, it doesn't really, my, a lot of people have asked me these kind of questions. Um, the, the, the honest answer is that the song I actually just bought the rights to, I, it, I don't think it has a name or anything like that. Uh, I, I was searching for uh, a theme song to use because I was using Boston's Peace of Mind, which uh, a lot of people know from my older videos, and I stopped using it because I wasn't able to get permission from people, and I didn't want to get anybody mad. I, I tried messaging them, uh, actually the band Boston, uh, and I wasn't able to ever, ever get a reply back from them. Uh, am I going to get Fall of Cybertron Detective? Yes, I am. I, I absolutely am. Um, but so I, I, I went online and I found a place that does music and I bought the rights to that song. So uh, I don't think it really has a name. I just call it the Optimus theme. Uh, what are some of your new Transformer reviews? I just started watching so someone... Oh, no, that's, that's fine. Uh, 0903 Thomas. Um, right now, right now, there's not a lot of Transformers stuff coming out. Uh, I, I'm trying to get my hands on some stuff, so hopefully things will, you know, there'll be more Transformers. I, 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 everybody asks me, I, I stick with Transformers. Transformers are always going to be my main thing, but I do have a lot of other interests. I mean, I do love Masters of the Universe. I am a big He-Man fan. Um, I, I got some of these uh, Marvel Marvel figures. Uh, this is Apocalypse. I'll be, I'll be doing some of those. Uh, I mean, I have a lot of various kind of interests that I, I like to try and do reviews of. Thank you, thank you for the comment on my hat. Uh, but unfortunately, I can't really do a lot of Transformers if there's not a lot out. Um, are you going to review the Fall of Cybertron figures when they were released? I've reviewed some. I've reviewed the first first wave that's already out. Dark Snoopy, uh, if you ask answer ask the question, I haven't been able to see it. It, it goes by so fast. Uh, Ninja Turtles, um, Michi, that, that is a very big fan of mine. Uh, Sir, Serum, Serum06 Reviews, what's up? Thanks for stopping by. And no, I haven't seen uh, The Dark Knight Rises yet. Uh, I plan on seeing The Dark Knight Rises on Monday. Is now everything okay with you and Sean Long? Um, I don't have any problems with Sean. Uh, we, we, we talk quite often, well, not quite often, but, you know, we, we talk to each other. Um, oh, oh, nine. Okay, sorry. Uh, am I going to get the weaponizer figures? I probably will. I just got to see them in stores. I don't want to pay too much for them. Uh, they did make an arachnid figure. Uh, it's kind of crappy. Grimwolf, I, I, we'll get into that. We'll get into that. Kapow Toys, that is the best place. I love working with Kapal Toys. They're fantastic people. Uh, the Bruticus repaint crosshairs, I, I'll probably get it in, in the store. 
Who sponsors you? Answer, answer, answer. Are you allowed to tell us? Uh, nobody really sponsors me. Um, not, not, not really. I mean, I have an, I have a, a, a friendship with Kapal Toys, but uh, I, I don't get, I don't get paid to do anything like some other reviewers do. Uh, do I like the LA Kings? I have a respect for the LA Kings. They won, and I, I respect whoever wins. Skids and Mudflap Car. I, I've said your name before. Is Dominic Koshik really coming back? Uh, he says he wants to. You know, I have the Dark Knight Rises figures. I have had them sitting here, and I actually planned on doing those, doing all those this week. But then I went through and I realized that I don't have packaging for them, and I always have packaging in my videos. Uh, I, I I open them without recording them. So sorry. Uh, Dark Snoopy, I'm doing well, thank you. The Liverpool Owen, what's up? Um, God, so many comments, guys. I'm sorry if I miss you. Moose, I, I, I just, I know the guy who runs it. We're, we're really cool. Tyler Mans from L.A., what's up? L.A. I love L.A. Do you do a mail? Uh, this is my third week doing the mailbag, and I, actually I should keep going. Uh, from... From Texas, we have Dave, David. Let's open this up, see what we have. Uh, I'm lo I am looking forward to Transformers 4. The, who, I, 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 doubt, I doubt a lot of people in L.A. remember. I mean, I know a lot of L.A. fans. Oh, wait, we got another drawing. Ooh, this is nice. This looks good. You guys put so much into these. It's amazing to me. You guys are so detailed with your stuff. I, I, I hold this up to the camera so I can kind of see what I'm doing. You guys put so much effort into this. It's so cool that you guys do this. Thank you so much. It means so much to me that you guys take the time to do this. It is really, It is really very humbling. It really is. Dear Mr. Optobotomist, my name is James, not David. Oh. Thanks for that. <laughs> well, okay, James. Uh, David is my father's name. Sorry if I confused you. You inspired me to also do video reviews, and I'm a subscriber to you on YouTube, and I love your video reviews, and I agree with a lot of your opinions on Transformer toys that you review. Along with this letter is a picture of the Fall of Cybertron game that I drew myself. I sent a copy instead of the actual picture, but... Uh, but might show it on YouTube. I hope you like it. Uh, I and my question, my questions are: Will you get the Fall of Cybertron Deluxe Class Sideswipe? Um, yeah, I like the way it looks. It's a remold slash kind of retool, repaint of the Jazz figure, and I do like the Jazz figure, and I, th I think Sideswipe looks pretty good. Uh, I saw it at Comic Con, and I liked it. I was up close to it. And I thought thought it looked good. And will you get the Fall of Cybertron Voyager Grim? Like, yes, that's a great looking figure. Uh, that very well may be my classics Grimlock, because I never got a, the, the original classics Grimlock. I never liked how it looked. It didn't look like a Tyrannosaurus Rex to me. Uh, I love the way that this Fall of Cybertron one looks. I think it looks fantastic. Are you looking forward to seeing both? Or I am looking forward to see both video reviews um, and your other reviews that you make. Sincerely, James. Uh, P.S. Uh, my YouTube account is. Level raise, uh, level, and then R A Z E. I couldn't quite get Iron Ironhide's face to look great, but that was the best I could do. The picture is based on the first Fall of Cybertron commercial, and four out of the five Combaticons can be seen in the background. Oh yeah, you. Oh yeah. Very cool. Very very cool. And and yeah, now I notice that it is. It, it, it it's a cop, but it's a very good copy though. Very good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, James. Like I said, it's it's amazingly humbling when you guys send me stuff, and uh, I love, I absolutely love it. You guys are so cool. Put that there. All right, moving on to the next one. This is also from Canada, but I don't know who it's from. Oh wait, C Vint, C Vint. Wait a minute. Is that is that the the guy who follows me on Twitter? Let me see. I'm going over to my Twitter right now. Um, 
Dorian doesn't like the live thing. I'm sorry. He's he's following me on Twitter and he said, Chris Bent. I wonder if that's I wonder if that's you, because he was wondering when I was going to do it, and I'm looking, Northern Ireland. That does kind of look right. Ah, oh. Chris, I hope you're able to. I hope you're actually watching this because I'm about to open your letter. Hold on, let me let me reply to him. I'll put the link there so hopefully he can see this. Because again, I don't know if he's showing up. I mean, the comments are going by so fast. There's so many. Um. What does your hat taste like? Am I a brony? No. I, I, I mean, I don't have any problem with my little pony. Mikey from Teenage Mutant Neutrals is definitely a badass. I love him. Use capital letters. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I don't want to get into that trans Camaro. We're, I... I don't don't really care about that, but all right, Chris. Let's open up Chris's letter. He follows me on Twitter. Really good guy. We we talk about Ninja Turtles and Masters of the Universe and such. So I'm really excited to see what he says. This is this is really cool. Somebody who I do enjoy actually talking with sent me this letter. Wow, and this is very nicely written. Wow, this is like all professional looking and stuff. Dear Octobotomus, I just watched your mailbag video and I thought I would send you a letter to say thank you for the awesome YouTube videos that you have done for so long. I'm not a huge Transformers fan, so there was another line that made me cross your channel. It was a Masters of the Universe Classics line, and the first time I came across you was during the whole Trapjaw and Battle Cat fiasco, and you didn't get one. I'm pretty much done with Masters of the Universe Classics now, and it's, and it's great not dealing with Maddie. You may have noticed that my Chronicles podcast is done now, and that's one reason. That's very unfortunate. I know a lot of people actually do like it, um, so it's very unfortunate. You are one of the best reviewers on it, on the Internet, and I love the fact that you make your hands do the talking, if that makes sense. Uh, your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle reviews were tremendous, and, were really, and you really go in-depth with the details of the figures, and it really makes me pay notice in if I should pick up the figures or not. Uh, like a lot of other viewers to your channel, I would like you to answer the following or answer a few questions. Again, I hope you're watching, Chris, because I'm about to answer your questions. Uh, you are awesome at videoing. I wonder if you ever thought about launching an Optobotomous podcast for your listeners. Uh, I do. I don't see. Um, see, my good friend TFG on Mike, who's part of the Geekcast Radio Network, has a special kind of podcast set up for me. It's called the Team Bottomist Variety Hour because I'm very random and sometimes I want to rant about Masters of the Universe Classics or rant or something. We're, we actually have one scheduled that we're, I'm going to do with uh, Count Marzo on Twitter and you, you're probably familiar with him. We're, we're going to do a rant kind of Hasbro versus Mattel here in a little bit and I'm really excited. Um, I'm sorry to mean to disrespect you, Transcamero. Uh, uh, I just don't like you guys fighting. Um, I, I agree. I don't. I'm not a big fan of fighting either. Uh, is it difficult to do these live videos? No. Why would it be difficult? I'm talking to friends of mine. I, I, I love doing this. Uh, so, um, so I do that. But the problem is, usually, I mean, I, I tell people this all the time that doing videos is my is my career now. Um, I, I'm very thrilled and excited that I can actually say that that I'm able to not have a regular job anymore and be able to do this and support my family. That's the most important thing. Um, this is a business for me. And when I'm when I'm not sitting here doing this kind of stuff, I am constantly working. This is the weekend, so I'm kind of taking time time off. But this this summer I've been cranking out videos. Usually like every day I'm trying to get a new video out for you guys because I know Summertime, you guys don't have anything to do, and I, I, I want to put stuff out so that you guys can enjoy it and watch it. So I'm busting through a lot of stuff. That's why I don't have a lot of Transformers stuff to do, because I've pretty much gone through everything. I, I'm doing this a lot. Uh, I, I try to get as much done as possible for you guys to watch and enjoy and entertain you during the summer. So um, uh, podcasts, it's kind of hard for me to do podcasts, because when, when I'm sitting here, and I, I tell my good friend TFG, I'm like this all the time, I sit here at my computer so often during the day when I'm editing, shooting, things like that, uploading, saving, all that stuff. I'm sitting here on my computer that 
when I'm not working, and, and I use that term loosely because I don't consider this work. This is fun for me, but it, it is it is work. Um, but I'm very fortunate in that I like doing what I do. So uh, so when I'm when I'm not when I'm not working, I don't want to sit here at my computer, and that's the biggest thing. I don't listen to a lot of podcasts. Um, and I feel bad because I don't really support a lot of those people more by listening to them. I think a lot of them do a wonderful job. The GeekCast Radio Network does a wonderful job interviewing a lot of voice actors. So many good voice actors. I, I got to actually be part of one with Larry Kenny, who does the or who did the uh, uh, the original Lionel in the original cartoon series, and did who did Cloudus in the new Thundercat series. I actually got to personally talk to him, and it was absolutely fantastic. It was such a wonder, wonderful honor to talk to him, but. Uh, I don't have a lot of time to do them because I'm sitting here, and I, I use this kind of I use this as as an example. Imagine if you worked at Walmart, and imagine if you were off work, you don't want to hang out at Walmart. You know, whatever job you do, if you work at a gas station, if you work at a fast food restaurant, when you're not working, you don't want to be there hanging out in your free time. So it's the same kind of thing for me. So I don't like working. Uh, everyone, stop posting comments. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm going to review the masterpiece Optimus Prime, but I'm I'm waiting to do it when when the Hasbro one comes out when it's closer to that comes out. Uh, do it, crap. I can't. I can't. Uh, that hurts. I can't. I don't like doing it. Oh, that yeah, that really sucks. I don't like doing that. Uh, Keen. Pot, I'm, it looks like Pony Ride, but it's spelled wrong. Oh, you're in Korea, and it's 6:11 in the morning. Wow. Uh, I do, um, Tyler, man. I do get some of my stuff from eBay. Not a lot, but I do get some stuff. If you guys are watching, if you guys are watching JT Mitchell, go watch JT Mitchell. This is going to be posted on on YouTube after the live thing, so you can come back and watch it. Um, I'm sorry to keep asking. Oh wait, movie werewolf. I'm sorry to keep asking, but I really want to know your opinion on Transformers Rescue Bots. I never watched it, so I don't know. I have no, I have no idea. Sunny Weems, what do you think of Century Productions? Uh, I think that's a guy that doesn't like me. He doesn't like me. He's always had kind of an attitude with me when I had a thing going with Shang a, a while ago. Do I like Doctor Who? I've never watched Doctor Who. Never watched Doctor Who, so I, I can't comment. I know a lot of people like it, though. Um, let's see. Question number two from, from Chris. Have you ever thought about doing reviews of WWE figures such as the Elite or Basic Series? I've done a couple, not a lot, uh, mostly because I don't like a lot of the new characters in, in WWE. I like the old ones. I mean, I have, I have several. i got Stone Cold, Ted DiBiase, Chris Jericho. Big Boss Man, Bret Hart, Ultimate Warrior, um, Shawn Michaels, Macho Man, Mr. Perfect, uh, Triple H, um, Eddie Guerrero, Andre the Giant, who else? Roddy Roddy Piper. I mean, I got a, I got a bunch of Undertaker. I got a bunch of them, but I like the older ones. I mean, I was a big fan of wrestling growing up. And kind of after the Attitude Era, I stopped watching. I mean, you can see I got belts over there. Actually, you can't see one of them. That's my double eagle belt, and then underneath there is my attitude error. Or wait, is that the other way around? Yeah, no. That that one is my that's my double eagle replica belt, and then behind that box right there that you can't see is my attitude era belt. So I do like wrestling. Um, I'm just not a big a fan of it. My hair's all messed up. I got hat hair like a son of a gun. Uh, let's see. Um, number three, if money was no object, was no object, what would you like to review? Wow, that's a really good question, Chris. Um, wow, wow. If money was no object, what would I like to review? You know what I would love to review? If money note was no object, amusement parks. I would absolutely love that. That's that's my answer. That's my answer. I would love it if I could go to amusement parks around the world and do kind of, you know, the video where I'm holding the camera and I'm going through and there, there's the back of my iPhone case. 
Some people have seen it before, some people haven't. It's a Megatron with his mouth open and a Decepticon logo in there. Um, I would love to do that. That would be awesome. Do an amusement park. That If money no, it was no object, there's, there's, there's the answer. That's a good answer, I think. Uh, again, sir, thank you very much for your awesome reviews and giving us a chance to send you a letter. It was a good. It was good to see that you, uh, you and Mrs. Optibotomus had a good time in San Diego Comic Con, and happy belated anniversary to the pair of you. Very nice. Thank you, Chris. Very nice of you. Wish you all the best of luck in the world, and please keep in touch on. Please keep in touch on Twitter. Uh, I'm also on YouTube. Vinto Mania. Uh, I would also like to extend my invitation for you to appear on What the Shell podcast sometime. You know what? You know what, Chris? Set it up. Let's do it. Let's do it. I would absolutely love to do it. I don't. Again, I hope you. I hope you are able to watch. I don't know if you are, but this is going to be uploaded. So, um, so absolutely. Set. You know, let's set something up because I would love to sit there and talk about Ninja Turtles. I got uh, Playmates is sending me the uh, the turtle layer. Um, the the talking the talking effects turtles and uh, the uh, the Leo the sword that lights up and makes sounds they're sending me that stuff so uh, I don't know when I'm gonna get it but um, hopefully it's fairly soon uh, let's see next video or next one um, Lucia Lucia's box do we collect Lego minifigures I do have some but Lord of the Rings kind of uh, I, I didn't have an Autobot case because they didn't they didn't have one. Uh, did you hear Shockwave is going to be in Transformers Prime? That would be cool. I'm really excited about it. Uh, Detective Pib, I like Star Wars, but not I don't really get into the figures. Will you do a collection video ever? Every now and then I put up videos uh, on what's on off the bottom is this shelf. And the problem is I rearrange my shelves so much, so it's really kind of hard to do that. My most prized Transformer? I don't know. I don't know. I, I have I have several that I like. Some some have more uh, like monetary value, um, and some have more intrinsic value. Uh, like for example, uh, hopefully, oh yeah. Um, I don't, I don't know if you guys can. See, you probably can't. Uh, let me angle up. Uh, no, you can't see. Where the hell is it? Because the camera's actually reversed on here than than what it is. Um, over there, there, there's my Fort Max, and I have Brave Max over there. Those are probably my most expensive figures. You know, so those are more valuable in that regard. Uh, but I also have a uh, original G1 Predaking which when my aunt passed away she left me some money and I bought one of those just because I wanted something to be able to always um, remember her by and that was that was a figure that I always wanted as a kid so I bought that and it was something that uh, I was very happy to be able to do uh, let's see do I like the amazing Spider-Man video game? I, I never played the video game uh, I, I did like the movie I liked the original better but uh, do companies send me stuff to review? Uh, Peg, not really. Um, I, I was lucky, and I actually got the, uh, I actually got con a, a contact with uh, Playmates, and I, that, that's the first company, main kind of company that's really sent me stuff to review. You know, Hasbro, I can't get anywhere with them. Uh, Mattel, I've tried, I get nothing, but I don't think, I don't think Mattel really likes me too much. Uh. So let's see. Um, do I like Marvel or DC more? I like some things more. Like for example, Marvel, I really like X Men, but like with DC, I really like Batman and Superman. So Star Wars Transformers Sound Control Two Two One usually kind of suck. I don't like them. Um, no, I'm not going to be buying the Hot Toys Joker Two Point Oh. That's the that's the one from the, that from the new Batman movie from the Dark Knight, right? Yeah, I don't like it. Uh, I would like to get Grand Max at some point in time, Tyler Man, but that one is the, the most difficult, most expensive one to get. So uh, that one's kind of tough to get a hold of. What's up, Black Screen? What's up, buddy? Uh, the box in the back. Um, that box is... Uh, um, uh, that one is a 
San Diego Comic Con cliff jumper, and then the one below that is a cliff jumper and his tanks that that somebody had bought for me, and I'm waiting for them to pay me for shipping. <laughs> then I'll ship them out. Uh, will I review the Lego Lord of the Rings set? Probably not. Probably not. I I, I mean. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not really into. I mean, I, I don't know how I would do. I don't have a style for doing the the um, Lego review, so I don't know how I would do it. Um, X X E K B X X one two three three two one. I am 33 years old. You ask me how old I am. I'm 33. My favorite Marvel superhero. Just. X-Men. I'm just going to put X-Men out there. Oh, you got... By the way, thanks again. I received my clip jumper yesterday. Awesome. Very. I'm very happy that that got to you safe and sound. Buttercup. Hi. Optimus, 98. Hi. Geo and Scorponok. I would love to get, but I can't ever find one. Um, my display... The glass this display cases speed racer. I got them at Ikea. Uh, which do I like better, Batman or Superman? That's really tough. I could not tell you. Uh, what are you going to review next? Um, I think my next ones that I'm working on are like some NECA things. Review a Nerf gun? I don't know how I would do that. My D Where are your DC direct? They're over there. <laughs> uh, Creo Transformers, are, I, I like them. Crocodile God, hello again to you. Good to see you again. List of the Devastator. List, what? I have no idea what you just asked me. <laughs> so, our next letter comes from Pennsylvania. Oh, look at that. I just turned it around and we got a nice little Autobot logo. Right there, very cool. And again, anybody wants to send me anything, there is the address. Optibonimus, P.O. Box 3256, Huntington Beach, California. 92605-3256. Send me anything that you guys want. Letters, you know, I mean, if you wanted to say thank you for something, I love that. It's it's so much more personal. It's so, so very cool. Uh, oh, wait, oh, wait, what do we got here? P.S. Could you go to, what? P.S. Optibonimus. Could you go to mock? pages.com, search Grimlock, scroll down, look for, what, what, okay, I'll set that, that, it's on a sticky note, so I'll stick it right there, so I can remember, <laughs> let's see what we have here, oh, that's cool, me, Grimlock, want follow Cybertron, why Hasbro, no like me, Grimlock, guess what, they do like you, Grimlock, they're giving you a toy, it looks really cool, too, Dear Optimus, sorry for my ban ha bad handwriting, writing, but my computer is running out of ink. I love your reviews; I watch them a lot. But when are you going to review Cyberverse Ultra Magnus? Um, I haven't, I haven't, haven't even seen them yet in my stores, so I haven't been able to get them. Ultra Magnus has been my favorite ch favorite character since I was a kid. Who's your favorite character? My favorite character has been always Wheeljack. I've always, he's always been my favorite. Um, what is San Diego Comic-Con like? I can't go there. I live on the other side of America, Pennsylvania. Uh, I will send you something soon. You are sending me something. You already sent me something. I would like to ask you one more thing. Can you do a size comparison video of Fall of Cybertron Optimus Prime? I don't have the War for Cybertron Optimus, so... Uh, so can you use Deluxe Transformers Prime Optimus? Uh, from Autobots Rollout 74, flip over. Oh, um, your first of what is San Diego Comic Con like? San Diego Comic Con is like Disney, but on steroids. That's the best way I can describe it. It's so insanely busy there. Uh, absolutely insane. Um, there, there's people everywhere. There's no personal space. You're always bumping up into someone. Um. Uh, I don't actually have my deluxe um, Transformers Prime Optimus out, so I can't do that. I'm sorry, um, but uh, and I, I'm having a hard time saying your name. Oh, wait, it says Mike. Mike, thank you, Mike. All right, thanks, Mike. <laughs> Armadillo expert, you're okay. 
since since I won't respond to your comment, maybe because it's going by so fast that I can't see it. Don't be rude. There's no re reason to be rude. Yeah, it's basically the San Diego wait in line con. Alien or predator? Predator all the way. Do I like Call of Duty? I've never played Call of Duty, so I can't I can't really I can't really tell you. I suck at video games. I really do. Kind of makes you feel. <laughs> I was reading Twitter. Sorry. Yeah, but yeah, I I can't play those games. I'm terrible at them. Um, let's see. Uh, do you like Naruto? I don't even know what that is. Sorry. Minecraft? Nope. Did you get? Yeah, I got the Mr. Freeze and Killer Croc. I haven't reviewed them though. I got to do those too. Um, do you want to see Transformers Four movie? Yeah, I would love. I love. I would love it if they continue doing the movies. Uh, the Fall of Cybertron game looks really good. I haven't. I I haven't even finished the actual one though. Oh, sorry. The Nickelodeon guy that interviewed you when you were buying this seemed really annoying. He was just he, he was he was just being you know uh, goofy I, I guess. Uh, do I like Warhammer for 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 forty k? No, I again I I can't say if I like it. I've never played it. I do like Iron Man. I do like Iron Man. You said duty. <laughs> uh, when am I going to do breakdown? Uh, Soon, I'll get I'll get it up soon, guys. Jedi, all the way. Jedi or Sith? Jedi. Have you seen Prometheus? No, I haven't. I never watched Xena or Hercules on TV. Uh, Bamboo Two. It. How how's the YouTube Live thing going? It's going pretty good, I think. Fizzy peas. <laughs> uh, well, I do video game reviews. Uh, I'm. Probably not. I'm not a very big video gamer, so. Um, would you like to see? Oh, Halo is better than Call of Duty. Okay. Autobot Jazz fan, what's up? Uh, do I have a G1 Warpath? No, I don't. I don't have a lot. I mean, believe it or not, I don't have a lot of uh, G1 figures. To be honest, all you can see them all up here. I have um, Mega at cash. I, I have no idea how many figures I have. Will you review when you're 80? I, I have no idea. Uh, red, red's a good color. I like red. We review Gundam figures or mech figures from. Uh, I don't probably not. Super Man Man Dan, just because I don't I, I don't know anything about him. I don't like reviewing stuff that I don't really know anything about. My favorite Transformer is Wheeljack. Do I like this better than you? It goes a lot faster. I, I I can't really tell you if I like it more. I like the fact that more people are are coming to it because I like interacting more with people. But it it, it goes by fast. I really have to get used to it. Uh, will you get the special Blu-ray box set? Oh, geez, where'd that come go? Um, phase one Marvel films. Uh, I haven't actually seen it, so I, I don't know. Uh, I have all the other all, all the other Mar Marvel movies on Blu-ray, so it would really have to impress me. My favorite Avenger. I really kind of like Hulk. He was really kind of funny. Uh, good night. Uh, X. Blah blah blah. Bamboo too. This is only my second time using it, so I don't know. What's your preferred brand of bread? I have no idea. How much money do you think you've spent on everything you re re reviewed? Uh, I can tell you, I last last year I spent like fifteen thousand dollars on stuff. Uh, what's with the re wrestling belts in the background? It it's I liked wrestling as a kid. Uh, I grew up with like Hulk Hogan and Macho Man and stuff, so I, I love that. And then I, I really kind of went into Stone Cold and The Rock and stuff. Um, Mega Man, all the way. In fact, that reminds me, I have to download that so I can play it on Wii. Uh, so next next letter, this one comes from, um, this is actually really cool. I actually really love the way that this looks. This is a um, 
this is I'm guessing this is from somewhere in the United Kingdom uh, because they got the Queen on there. But that's really kind of cool. That's really neat. Uh, I don't know who this is from though, because um, it doesn't say. But let's get it open and let's see what we have, shall we? I don't know how long this. It says I have 90 viewers. That's really cool. Oh, speaking of Wheeljack, this comes from Joe, a.k.a. Joe's Films. Wheeljack. Got his vehicle mode, his robot mode. Very cool. Dear Optobotomus, I love your videos, and I thought I would send you a drawing that I did. It's Wheeljack. Uh, I hear that Wheeljack is your favorite Transformer. Keep making great re reviews and tell Burger I said hi. From Joe, a.k.a. Joe's Films, all the way from sunny old England. Happy anniversary. My 12th birthday was on the same day. So happy belated birthday to you, Joe. Very cool. I do like it. It's Wheeljack, guys. It's hard to see. Let me see. Oh, oh wow, that's real dark. The light actually, I think, helps with the quality of the camera a little bit better. It's not as grainy as yesterday. Um, do, read my comment from Thomas. Do you get bored doing reviews? No, absolutely not. Review Armada the TV series. I never saw it, so I can't review it. How do you live, live stream? Um, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I guess it, it's a feature that partners have had, and they just gave it to me. I just recently got it yesterday. Do you like Megan Fox? Yeah, I think she's a really good-looking woman. I don't think she's all that talented of an actress. But I think she's really good-looking. Because your voice is awesome. Can you do a special video of just reading the phone book? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Uh, Transmorphers, uh, have I have I seen it? Uh, I've heard of it, I haven't seen it. Uh, will you ever do a live stream for reviewing? Maybe. Uh, I, I mean, I have to get used to this whole setup. It's possible. Are you ho hoping to see Hot Rod or Galvatron in Transformers 4? It would be interesting to see how they how they tackle those characters. Uh, my, none of my pets are up here in my room. They're all they're all downstairs. Uh, we have four cats, and I have two fish. Uh, yeah, I do. I do these. This is the third week that I've done it. So, hey, Paul, I was thinking about joining Club Eternia. Subscription, I'm a collector. Um, honestly, I'm not signing up for the 2013 subscription because the figures that they unveiled already, I'm not interested in. They, they have one that I like, and that's Ram Man. Um, but if you do sign up for it, I highly, highly, highly recommend going with the UPS shipping. Don't go with USPS because that takes forever. Um, can you review more Marvel Select? Um, maybe it's possible. Optimus, Sentinel, or Rodimus Prime? I like. I, I actually like them all. I can't recall, but haven't you reviewed your cat? I kind of reviewed. I do, uh, jokingly reviewed my my cat Gracie once. Uh, my Ghostbuster figures come from MaddieCollector.com. Uh, Brick fan, I'm doing well. Doing well. Thank you for asking. Do I think Unicron should be a villain in Transformers 4? I really liked what they did with Transformers in Transformers Prime with Unicron, making him smaller. I, I really enjoyed that. I thought that worked a little bit better. Uh, let's see. Going on to my next letter here. I, again, I don't know who it's from, and I can't tell where it's from. But let's open this up, and hopefully something's on here. Can you do a video of your wife? My, my wife doesn't like being on camera. She's a teacher, so she avoids being on camera. She, she lets me do all that kind of... Uh, personal stuff. What do we have here? Hey, that's really cool. What is that? Um, I, I don't know who this is from at, at all. Because there's no name on here. Oh, wait, okay. Um, Dear Optobotomous, my name is Brandon. Uh, I'm a 12, I'm 12 years old. I always enjoy everyone, or 
I always enjoy every one of your videos. My dad got me into Transformers. We watched the first episode of G1. Awesome. Awesome dad you have there, Brandon. Uh, and I said, well, when do we get to watch the others? I was at your live stream um, at BotCon 2012. I was Hawkeye Brett. I enjoy your sense of humor, too. Unfortunately, the Wii skin is not... Oh, this is a Wii skin! Is non-sticky. Sorry, keep doing... That's cool. He sent me. It's for my. It's for my Wii controller. That's cool. It's non-sticky. Well, how do I? Well, it seems pretty sticky. You stuck it on here. You stuck it onto the. <laughs> um. It it is it it is sticky, Brandon. But you you stuck it to the paper. And now it's ripping the paper. Oh, I I don't know if I want to see. I mean, now it's ripping it. That's really cool, though. It's from Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. So thank you, Brandon. That's very nice of you. But it it did stick to it. <laughs> it's not sticky, but it stuck to your letter. Uh, if you were a teacher, what subject would you teach? Uh, probably science. Can you do a video of Megan? Can you do a video with Megan Fox or Shia LaBeouf? Uh, I, I, I can't. I don't know him. Um, do you have a game console? Yeah, I have a th I have a uh, Xbox 360 and a Wii. I don't really watch MGO's videos. Uh, nothing personal about to him or anything. I just don't enjoy his style very much. Can you say an intro for my channel? Uh, what would you like me to say, Wire? Wire Blue? Um, what's Burger doing? Burger's probably outside just running around. Do I like Thundercats? I do. Uh, I didn't like the new series all that much. First movie Voyager uh, Megatron. I actually don't have it. My my Xbox gamer tag is Optobotamus, but I, I, I really don't uh, play online games very much. Have you met Peter Cullen or Frank Welker? No. I have not. Your power level is over 90,000? I don't even know what that means. What is a power level? That I don't even know what that means. Are you an atheist? Does it really matter? Koopa Mata days to you too, Mr. MMO97. If you're a Transformer, will you Transformer 2 into a... I have no idea. Uh, the new Transform or Ghostbusters game, yeah, I played it. I really liked it. Who's your favorite combiner? Um, probably the Aerialbots. My favorite character in Lord of the Rings is probably Gollum. Or Gandalf. <laughs> I don't know how... How can you be that awesome? Dark Snoopy? I have no idea. It's over 9,000. It's a power... Dragon Ball Z? That's the dragon poop one, right? Where they poop out dragons? Or where they... Where dragons poop out balls or something? <laughs> uh, do you watch P.O.'s reviews? Uh, not recently, no. How much do you earn from your videos? That is none of your business. <laughs> Can you get a shout out? Comfy death shot. Shout out. Say hey please. Okay, uh, so for Wired Blue, hey leave a, oh I, it just, it moved. Hold on, sorry. Hey please leave a like, comment, and favor, and don't forget to subscribe to Wired Blue 666. There you go. Hope that worked for you. My favorite Decepticon? I don't know. Hakuna Matata to you too, Porter. Obviously, after what uh, the tragedy happened the other night, I know this isn't a great question, but have you seen Dark Knight Rises? And if so, what do you think? I've not seen it yet. I'm going to see it on Monday. But I, why, why, why should you feel bad about what happened the other night? Um, it, it just happened to surround the movie. I, I don't think. I don't think that. I, I, don't don't 
don't don't anybody don't don't I I I'm going to I, I hate the fact that this movie, good or bad, is going to now forever be linked to what happened uh, with some absolute lunatic. That that really sucks. Um, but did you ever purchase uh, the smoke screen, the 2007 smoke? No, I wanted to get the Henke version of it because I think it looks better. But I haven't been able to see. I haven't ever been able to find it yet for a good price. Uh, do you like Review Spot? Yeah, I talk to Spot all the time. He's a real good friend of mine. Comes to my Ustream shows and stuff. Uh, the Ustream, the the show tonight will probably run from seven till probably about nine or ten, like normal. Do you like Wonder Woman? I like Wonder Woman. Do you get do you get sick of people asking you to do collab videos with other reviewers for of Transformer figures? They don't really ask that, me that much, and it, it's not that big of a deal. You can't stop. It's crazy. Uh, yeah. Got any favorite YouTube channels you like to view? I don't. I don't get to watch a lot of people's YouTube stuff. Uh, I watch my good friend Bob Gilmer a lot. Um, also, also my other friend uh, Darth Devious. I watch them a lot. JT Mitchell, the Review Spot, the Zombie J. Please call me Raven. I'll try and remember. I'll probably forget. Um, how do you watch your cat? Uh, Ustream on on Facebook and Twitter. I post a link. I think it's uh, u Ustream TV slash user slash Optibotamus. Chocolate rain. I don't, I don't. I I know the song, but I don't know the words for it. I can't believe the reason why he did it. It's because I'm the Joker, which is kind of stupid because the Joker's not even in this movie. But whatever. <laughs> yeah, I I agree with that, Grim Wolf. I mean, we, we you you guys shouldn't let people scare you into anything. So. You know, if you guys want to still wear your Batman shirt to it, you know, still wear your Batman shirt. I mean, some theaters aren't letting people to dress up in costumes, which is understandable. But, you know, don't let what happened control your guys' actions and stuff. I mean, it's not cool. Because then you let those those people win. I just want to say thank you for your reviews. I always loved collecting figures as a kid. I'm 36 now, and watching reviews has rekindled. Oh, where'd it go? Uh, rekindled my passion for collecting figures. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Irish Scott. Very nice of you. Hot Toys Optimus Prime? Not really. I am Megatron. Literally. Oh, cool. My favorite X-Men villain is probably uh, Apocalypse. Sorry to be spammy, but hey, Paul, I was wondering if you know why some of the Transformer Prime that Stars Wars are being sold in Europe besides the UK. I, I don't know. I, I do not know. I'm sorry. Good thing you live in Mexico. Can you give me a shout-out as Defender74? Defender74! Awesome. Are you going to E3 this year? No, I've, I've never been to E3. Magneto is pretty cool. Uh, my mommy throws down. What's up? Uh, my next letter here from Luca. I'm thinking it's Luca. Um, this one's coming from Ontario, Canada. It's very cool. So let's get this open. I got, and I got a couple more things, and then I got three packages I actually have to go through. I may have missed the news from San Diego Comic Con. Do you know the release of? Uh, the, they're supposed to be exclusive to Toys R Us, and they're supposed to come out at the end of the year, I believe. Whoa! Hey, Optimus, love Transformers and toys. Holy cow! Wow! Holy cow. That's <laughs> that's crazy. Um, love Transformers and Toys. 
Oh, Toy Story. I do not have a YouTube account. My birthday is July 21st. Well, that's today. Well, happy birthday to you, Luca. Um, I would love it if you said happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Uh, and I love the bottomless tank. Plus, I'm turning eight, so my name is Lucas. Oh, Lucas. Go Team Bottomus. Awesome. Happy birthday to you. Today's your, today's your birthday. Happy birthday to you, Lucas. That's very cool. That is awesome. From Canada. Thank you so much. And it, it looked like your parents helped you write the, the, the address on here. So there's there again is the address. So thank you very much. That's very cool of you. And thank you to Lucas's parents for letting him do that. Uh, and here we have a nice manila, manila, manila envelope from Patrick. We're going to open this up and see what we have here. Manila envelopes always always make me curious. So we're opening. I'm opening. All right. And wow, we have like a whole holy cow. Wait a minute. Why have I seen this before? Wait, maybe. No, it, oh wow, he sent me pictures of his collection. Oh, he got a lot of stuff. Dear Optobotomus, I'm a big fan of your reviews. I always watch your videos if I'm having trouble with the new transformer. I'm also a regular at your live show. My username there is Firetruck1988. I love it when you talk to your cat. <laughs> I love it when your cats walk into your videos like the burger butt in the Fortress Maximus video. I'm including pictures of most of my collection. This is from Patrick. Um it looks like he crossed off some stuff, but here we have, uh, I'll go through these and show everything. That looks like uh, his animated collection. Below that just looks like some big, huge Transformers. Um, very cool. Oh, he's got the uh, R.I.D. train, uh, the train guys. Oh, this is a nice collection right here. Yeah, Computron in there. That's one that I'd like to get that I don't have. I'd love to get me a Computron. Very cool looking there. Really like that. What else do we have? Oh, you got Ultra Magnus up there. You got some Beast War stuff. You got, look, looks like a G1, Optimus Prime, and Ultra Magnus. Very cool. Of course, you have Hercules. Everybody likes Hercules. Hercules! Hercules! Oh, you got uh, Ultra Magnus and MP, MP01 there. And I also see there's all your Masterpiece figures. Starscream, Grimlock, and Rodimus. Those look like uh, Power Ranger sort of things. I don't know much about those. Sorry. I don't know anything about Power Rangers. I, I, I'm guessing those are Power Rangers or Sentai or something. And those look like classic figures. Classic in Transformers Prime. Oh, and you got the beautiful butterfly. It's a butterfly, Optimus Prime. Butterfly. And then uh, Devastator down there. Very cool collection that you have there, Patrick. That is awesome. You had some good stuff in there, dude. I'm jealous of some of that stuff. Thank you for that. Very, very nice. That came, yeah, that came all the way from New York. New York, New York. And now we have Optobotomus. Oh, there's Luna. Luna just came, came running in here. I'll, I'll show you guys her here in a little bit. Let me look at some questions here. Killer Croc, do you want a car? I have a. I have two cars. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Do you have a large matrix of prime replica? No, I don't. No, I never got one of those. Wayne, will you shave your beard? Um, I shaved a week ago, and this is how much has grown in a week. I don't get any hair up here. Everyone's always like, that. you got a neck beard. My hair only grows here, and that's how much it's grown in a week. I don't, my hair, I don't, I don't have to shave all the time, and if I do, it makes your skin, like, all 
scraped up. Uh, this is from Jonathan in North Carolina in another Manila envelope. My favorite comic book? I don't really know. What do we have? Oh, it got a little bit bent because of the mail, but you put you actually thought about putting a cardboard on here. Wow, that is really very good. This is really very good. Wow. Let me show you this. Hold on, guys. Very nice drawing of Optimus Prime here, guys. Oh, wait. Hold on. Switch over here. Very cool drawing of Optimus Prime. It's hard to see, but very, very cool. Somebody in your house smokes. <laughs> I can smell cigarette. <laughs> one shall stand, one shall fall. So cool. Uh, yes, I am getting the uh, Kyle Reese from NECA. Absolutely, I'm going to get that. It, I, I don't ha I don't have a neck beard because um, I, I want to have a neck beard. I have a neck beard because that's how it grows. Oh, cool. Big ol' oh, wait. I can't see if it ever shows up here. I changed it. Another Autobot logo. Very cool. It says, Dear Optimus, my name is Jacob. I am 17 years, years old. Your videos are very inspiring for other reviewers who are, are not well known. My, me for example, I don't have any videos on my channel because I don't have a camera. But when I get one, I would definitely be posting vids. In the ex in this envelope, envelope, in a little bit up in this envelope, you will find an Optimus Prime drawing from the first movie game case. It will be, I will be sending you another drawing, but this time, it will be Megatron facing the other direction. Ooh, very cool. Also, do you like mini mate figures? If so. I would be honored to send you some to review. Thanks for the awesome videos and looking looking for more to come. Keep up the awesome work. Sorry, it's it's crooked. I'm reading it crooked. Uh, sorry about the writing being slanted. I ran out of uh, college rule paper, so I had to use this. LOL. Look at the back of the letter. Very cool. Um, mini mates. I've never really got into mini mates, to be honest. Um, so I don't know. Go ahead, keep those yourself. Save them for when you do videos. But very cool, Jacob. I, I absolutely love this drawing. That's very nice option. I'm really nice shady on here as well. Very good. Very good. Let's see. Let's go over to the comments here. Oh, do you see the cat? Where is oh, I don't know where she went to. I think she, I think she left. You guys, you guys can see my cat, Luna. Luna. I don't know where she went to. She must have left. Captain Griffin Zero. Guys, go check him out. <laughs> How do you clean your toys? Uh, dusting them. Do I listen to Slipknot? No, I never really listen to Slipknot. My wife does. Do you find Revenge of the Fallen Leader Optimus easy like me? I do now. I do now. Um, I actually I have to go to the bathroom, so I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna go get a bathroom. I'm gonna go get something to drink as well. So you guys will just look at my room. All right, I'll be right back. Just look at look at my my room in in the mess that is my room.
All right, guys. I tried getting Luna to come back upstairs, but she didn't want to. It's <laughs> it's a ghost. You want to look, keep looking in my room? <laughs> so, uh, in addition to all those letters, I actually got three packages sent to me. Very, uh, it's so amazing to me that you guys send me stuff. And I can't read this person's name, but they're from Fresno, California. Um, Rangs the four? I don't know. Um, but, you know, people pay, you know, this costs $4.97 to send to me. So you guys sending me stuff is amazing. World's Smallest Transformers. I never got any. I probably want to mind it some because I think they would look good with my, um, like, my Brave Max and stuff. So this is new and very strange. Hey, Salem Blood! Hey, Salem. Good to see you. So here we go. We're, I'm opening this package. I'm hoping it's not poop. You don't like poop. Pepsi Max is better. Oh, I like Coke. First TJ Omega. Now Optobonus is doing what's in the box. Let's see. We got tissue paper. Well, kind of tissue paper. What do we have here? Oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh. It's so awesome when you guys send me stuff. Seriously, guys. It's so kind of you. I'm happy with letters and postcards and stuff. I mean, it's awesome when you guys send me actual things. I mean, it's so it's it's so amazing to me. This is from Jacob. Okay. Uh, dear Optobotas, my name is Jacob and I am ten years old. Thank you, Jacob. Uh, do you have Transformers Dark of the Moon game? I do, I don't play it that much though. Um if you do, you do a review of it. Plus, I got you three Cyberverse videos and a Lego guy. Also, can we be pen pals? Sincerely, Jacob. Um, me, Grimlock, mad. Because me, Grimlock, not Cyberverse toy. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. And he wants to be pen pals. I'll, I'll do my best. What did, you, what did you send me here? Cyberverse. Oh, this is the Megatron. This is actually a really cool figure. And I, I, it's... I don't I don't have this figure either, so this is really cool. This is actually really nice looking compared to uh so we have Megatron here. This actually looks better than a lot of the other regular stuff. The Cyberverse Megatron. Um I'm thinking what is this? Oh, I dropped something. I don't know what that goes to. Oh, wait, okay, I, I think I know what that goes to. <laughs> Um, oh, and this is Blackout. I'm, I gotta get him positioned better, though. Well, these are actually really kind of cool looking. I didn't think that. I, I never, I never bought these initially. Um, but they're they're not bad. These aren't bad figures. So here we have, see, here we have Blackout. Blackout. Very cool. Very, very cool. Um, this, I have no idea what this is. Is this just, is this a, uh, like I said, I never bought these, so does this just go on Megatron? I think this is Megatron, part of Megatron's, like, vehicle mode. Part of Megatron's vehicle mode, I'm guessing. And then, oh, what is this? Oh, this is, uh, this is Bumblebee. This is a really Good color bumblebee too. I really like the color on this. Nice and dark, deep yellow. I never saw this before. Very cool. Long time Mr. Buttluck. <laughs> Lucas, Lucas, I actually got your letter. I actually got your letter, Lucas. Um, where's where's it at, Lucas? You're you're from Canada. I got your letter. Um, I I actually read it here online. So go back when when I'm done doing this live. Go back and rewatch it. Do so I have the original Carnage from the first? Um, I think I have it. 
But I don't know. Oh, Luna's here. You guys want to see Luna? Come here, Luna, baby. Baby. Hey, come here. Come here, Luna. Come here, you silly little thing. I got Luna. Hold on, let me, let me get my camera. My Luna, baby. It's my Luna. Hi. Hi, say hi to everybody. Say hi. Oh, mm. That's a good Luna. That's a good Luna, baby. So Very, very cool. And then the Lego guy... Kind of looks like he's a Native American. I'm actually Native American, so I can do that. That's cool. Very awesome. Very, very awesome. Thank you, Jacob. Yeah, 10 years old. Thank you, Jacob. Oh, I have to feed my fish. My alarm went off. Oh, I got cat hair all over me now. Horror movie conventions. I've never been to a horror movie convention. <laughs> oh, you guys like you guys like Luna. She's a little cutie. She's a little cutie patootie. Um, and then now we're going on to my next box. This is from Harry. Another. I mean, it's it's amazing to me. This will cost three dollars to send me because you're from Texas, so you're a little bit closer. So let's see here. I don't know which way is up on this, so we'll just do whatever. Let's see here. Open that. There we go. Oh, what do we have? First, we have a wow. We have a book. Oh, okay. Let's see. Hold on. I'll, I'll get to what's in there in a minute. Um, here's my... Oh, he drew me Ninja Turtles! Oh, that's awesome! Here's my, here is Leo, Raph, Don, and Mikey's pictures and bios. P.S. I lost my camera, so I can't make videos until I can buy a new camera. That's okay. That's all right. So here we have Leonardo. Awesome stuff, guys. Look at that. Leonardo. Very cool. And his bio on here about Leo, he's got skills. Not that his brothers don't. It's just he's the most, and that's why his sensei, Splinter, picked him to be the leader. Obviously. We got, oh, Raphael. And, of course, he's got an angry look on his face. So very Raph. Very cool. This hothead acts just like his age, 15. He is a stubborn teenager. <laughs> That's true. Uh, he he just may be the toughest of his brothers. Very cool. Very, very cool. And we got Donatello. And, of course, Donatello in this new incarnation is uh, missing a tooth. So he's got that. Really very cool with his bow. Uh, he's the brains of this operation. He can do incredible things just like um, all of his brothers. But Donnie is just a little bit more incredible. The only thing about Don that isn't incredible is that he can't get April to notice him. That's okay. And of course, there's Mikey. And this one, this one's, this one's. I, I gotta say, this one's my favorite. He's got the freckles on him. He's got the freckles. Mikey is the wild guy, the smallest turtle of them all. He's the master of the nunchucks. Very cool. This is from Harry. So, Optobotomist, I forgot to send this to you the last time I sent you something. But what you've got is a battle damage knockout custom made from the Dark of the Moon Red Ratchet and a custom made Batman Arkham Asylum based on armored version from the Dark Knight Rises. And I wanted to tell I moved so my new address. Okay. P.S. I meant to type Leonard Leonardimus but I forgot the D. <laughs> That's alright. So what do we what do we got here? So he sent me this, and we're gonna we're gonna open this up. So this is a custom figure that I guess he made. I, I feel bad taking it then. I, I mean, maybe you should have kept it. Let's see. Let's see what we have. Oh hey. Oh 
Oh, did it? Oh, wait. Hold on. Okay. Here we go. Battle damaged. I like that. He's all... That's actually pretty good. He's got it scraped up and everything. Let's see. Hold on. I'll show it here in a second, guys. I gotta open everything up. And he, he taped... He taped napkins. And that's tough to open. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Let's see here. Here we go. Come on. My nose is starting to run. I'm wondering if somebody smokes in your house too. Because I kind of I kind of smell cigarette smoke. Not that that's a bad thing. I don't smoke. My parents used to smoke a lot, so I get my my nose kind of gets a little sensitive to it. Let's see. Oh, this is cool. So let me let me see here. Wait, I want I want to make sure that I have this right. This is, oh, hold on, I want to make sure that I get this right. So, um, a custom-made Batman Arkham Asylum based on the armored version. Ooh, very, very cool. Very cool. That's actually really, that's actually really good. It's actually really good. Thank you very much. And then... I, I really dig this. I really did this. It's a, um, what do we have here? This is a battle damaged knockout custom made from the Dark of the Moon Red Ratchet. And it is battle damaged. I mean, you can see. I mean, he's got the, like, the busted top, busted windshield, and everything. Very, very cool. Got some nice paint on here, which is all scratch, scratched up at the top. Uh, let's see. My fish aren't going to die. They're fine. Rob Zombie. I like Rob Zombie. Moose Prime. What's up, Moose Prime? Moose. So very cool. Very, very cool. I love the way that looks. You got the busted grill here on the front. Awesome stuff. Thank you very much, Harry. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So cool. And this Batman's really nice. I'm curious what kind of paint did you use on it? Did you use like an acrylic paint on it? It looks very good. What is that? Are you still there? Yes. It asked me if I was still there. What? Do, 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 do. That was weird. My my fish are named um, Dory and Nemo. Daniel, Mitch, Daniel. Hi, hi, Daniel. And then the last piece of mail that we got, and then we're going to wrap up the show because in an hour I actually have to go and do a, a podcast. This is from my friend Matt. Now. Matt uh, recently he bought some um, Masters of or not Masters of the Universe classic stuff. He actually bought um, um, was it the His Tank? He got the His Tank and I think Cliff Jumper from me. So do you have two PCs? Uh, well, I have I have a regular PC. I have a laptop, and my wife has uh, a laptop and a couple MacBooks. Zero Coke. Coke. Coke Zero. I, I really can't show you my... I mean, I can kind of show you them over there. I don't know if you can see them. There's, there's my fish tank right there. Oh, my nose is running. I wonder if I can actually zoom in. Oh, I can. There's... there's it's kind of bad quality because it gets blurry. But you can kind of see my fish tank there. It's actually kind of cool. I wonder if I can do all my other crazy things. Let's see here. Um, I'm blurred out. Can't see me. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, I, I do this on my Ustream all the time. Hold on, hold on. Oh, wait, no, that ain't right. Uh, 
Let's see. Hi, I'm a baby. I'm a little baby. Hi, I'm a baby. And then here's the I am a beautiful woman. I am so beautiful. Beautiful. Hi guys. I'm beautiful. Beautiful. I'm hello. And oh wait, this is my favorite. I am Gandalf. I am Gandalf the Grey. From Lord of the Rings. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm surprised I can actually do that on here. That's really kind of fun. Um, but so this is for Matt. So I was really surprised to see something from him because he just he just bought a whole bunch of stuff from me, and then he's getting this. Autobots roll out. Shout out for you, man. Warrior Wildhead. This is disturbing. <laughs> uh, Chris, what's up? How you doing, Chris? Uh, do I have Darker Than Moon Jolt? Yes, I do. Uh, Galaxy Trooper. Hey, so so I'm opening this up here from my my buddy Matt, and he decided to duct tape this. Thanks, Matt. Duct tape. It can fix anything. All right, let's see what we got here. Open first. Okay, open first. I didn't see what else is in there, so. Let's see. I'm opening this first. Uh-oh. Next Gen Warrior. Shout out! All right. Let's see. I'm opening this first. Here we go, Matt. All right. Hey, it's me, Rocktimus Prime from Twitter. That sounded good. Hey! Uh, yeah, anyway. Just wanted to say that you've been a great inspiration to me and my videos, along with JT Mitchell. Anywho, love the vids, man. As I said before on Twitter, gah, no more sucking up. I promise. I am 19 years old, and I love toys almost as much as my 11-year-old brother does. It's good to see that I'm not, only the, I'm not the only one. I decided to reuse the box I got from B BBTS because it was the biz biggest box I had. Enclosed in this package, you will find two boxes of Stay Puft Marshmallows and an Optimus Prime slash Team Bottomus logo. Interesting. I'll, I'll, we're we're going to look here. Figured that was an awesome thing to put in for any Ghostbusters collection. Thanks again for all you do. Uh, thanks again uh, for all you do for the cure for cancer. Um, for those of you that don't know, I did a, um, a hockey tournament. It was a long, long overnight tournament. Um, and uh, it was called uh, Face Off with Cancer. It was a charity hockey tournament, and we, we actually won it. So, and uh, I, I got a whole bunch of money. People donated a whole bunch of money. It was absolutely fantastic. Uh, as you may or may not know, I lost my grandma to cancer this past December. I'm very, very sorry to hear about that, Matt. Um, I think I actually remember you mentioning something like that. So it really means a lot to me when someone, act when someone actually tried to do something about it. You're the best. Uh, actually watching the new stream right now. Koopa Matty Days. Keep it up, dude. I know this is again. We'll love to keep in touch. You've got my address if you want to get back to me. Transform and roll out. From Matt, a.k.a. Rocktimus Prime. P.S. You may not want to eat the marshmallows just because I have no idea when the expiration date is. Let's see what we got. Let's see. And... Oh, that is uh, Koopa Matty Days. Oh, let me get this on here. There we go. Whoosh. So cool. We got Star Trek. We got Ghostbusters, Team Bottomus. Of course, the hashtag, Optimus Prime. Awesome job there. Awesome job there, Matt. And then it does, 
this, this is sealed. It looks like it looks like it's uh, brand new. I, I I can't imagine when it would expire. I'm kind of curious to actually eat it. Should I eat one of these guys? What do you think? I don't see an expiration date on here. They smell like marshmallows, though. They totally do. But this is cool. You say this is going to be awesome for collection. I don't know. Should I eat one? Eat one? Eat one? What do you think? Fizzy peas. Shout out. Hi. Eat it. Go. Oh, no. All right. Okay. All right. I'm going to eat one. I'm going to eat one. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, he wants me to. Um, and do, and do you want, do you want a beer from Belgium? Uh, I don't think you can send beer, but uh, what's up, Galaxy Trooper? Uh-oh. All right, hold on. It's it's in a sealed it's in a sealed bag here. These are the caffeinated marshmallows. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Send them. I don't <laughs> fire truck. I don't think I wanna send them to them. All right, here we go. Oh, they totally smell like marshmallows too. I kind of I, I don't I kind of don't want to because because <coughs> it's like sealed there, but you guys want me to, so all right, I'll do it. I opened it. God damn it! Don't eat it. Oh dear God! I opened it. Oh, they're little tiny ones. All right. It's a bunch of marshmallows. I'm gonna put these in the, like a little Ziploc bag. I'm gonna only eat one. Best. Oh, okay. All right. Here's the expiration date. Best before December 2012. So they're not expired. All right. Here we go. It's sealed. I'm eating one. I'm doing it. And then after that, I'm gonna put them in a Ziploc bag and put them back in this box. Shut up and eat it. I'm going to. All right. Marshmallow. It tastes like a marshmallow. Does it taste any different than a mar regular marshmallow? Pretty good. Well, I didn't know. I didn't know, I didn't know if it would be different. I don't know if it would taste funny. All right, that's not good. All right, I'm not going to eat any more of these. <laughs> It says, well, that's something you don't see every day. Something you love from your childhood. Delicious, puffy marshmallow, or flavorful marshmallows with a hint of van vanilla. We invite you to enjoy this Stay Puff. This, this Mr. Stay Puff's okay. He's a sailor. He's from New York. Very cool. Very, very cool. Put that right back in there. So there you go, guys. Oh, and see, check this out. I didn't even notice this. Check this out. You got the happy state puff. You flip it over on the other side. You got an angry state puff. That's cool. Happy. Angry. So cool. Wash it down with some soda. Ugh. Bad habit. Never been a fan of what? Marshmallows? What's up, Kyle? No, this doesn't count. I mean, I'm doing my other stream later on today.
but um, but there you go, guys. Another uh, another Optobotomus's mailbag. Thanks to everybody that sent that sent me something. You're all absolutely wonderful. And again, if you do want to send something, it is P.O. Box Optobotomus or it's Optobotomus P.O. Box three two five six Huntington Beach, California. 92605-3256 and uh, I think I like doing this live and uh, I might I might do it again next week live like this so you were drunk no, I'm not drunk yeah this is this is probably it this is probably it we're we're going to go now we're go we're going to wrap things up the fish aren't dead <laughs> So, um, so if you guys want to come and check me out again tonight, my Ustream will start at 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. That's 10 o'clock Eastern Time, I believe, at uh, Ustream.tv slash user slash Optibotomous. Uh, the link is on my homepage uh, if you want to check that out. I believe it's on my homepage. It should be on my homepage. I want to say it's on my home page. I think it's on my home page. I'm, going, I'm trying to get to my home page now to see if it is. Um, and it's yeah, it's actually it's actually kind of hard to click on it uh, because but it's it's up on the, it's on the main thing. I gotta figure I gotta figure that out. Um, but yeah, okay. So it's ustream.tv slash I'm sorry slash channel slash Optibotomous. If you follow me on Twitter or Facebook. Uh, Facebook, if you guys look at my, the beginning of my videos, facebook.com slash teambottomus or twitter.com slash optibottomus. And um, uh, you, you can check those out and you can watch. No, the fish. The fish aren't dead. Fish aren't dead. So, um, so all right, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I absolutely love doing this live. It's so very fun. I interact with you guys. I do letters and such. We'll have to do this again. So that's about it. That's about it. So we're going to wrap this up. And uh, some of you I'll see later on tonight. And some of you I'll see in a, a video review sometime later. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.